there's sunshines. I will warn you guys now, this is going to be a lot of randomness. I didn't know what to do with many of these clips, so I just put them all together in a vlog. Here we go. This is a banana pudding, I want to call it. It just has a bunch of bananas. Only used two or three, because I kind of got a little ahead of myself and I put in way too much. Some pecans for some texture, um, and this will add some crunchiness as well. Some maple syrup, but if you don't have maple syrup, you can use honey. There's no specific amount or specific anything, because I don't measure anything. <laughs> Lastly, some almond butter, because I love almond butter, so why not? and blend it away into this beautiful pudding puree concoction. I kid you not, this tastes so freaking good, but I made too much for one person, so I suggest you go easy on the banana. I'm gonna add some chia seeds, of course, because I love chia seeds. I'm gonna stir it up and let it sit for a little bit so the chia seeds could settle in just for a little bit, and then enjoy. On this day, I just had to run a few errands, including a special run to the post office for my blog giveaway winners. On another day, I had the awesome opportunity to be on the Today Show, thanks to my friend Missy Lynn, who chose Diana and I as her makeup models for the day. I will link their channels down below so you guys can check them out. But did you guys see us on the Today Show? This was very quick, but very amazing and I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Missy. And thanks to Julep and Market, I was able to attend the Trina Turk presentation and I got to see all the craziness and preparation that goes on behind the scenes, which was super intense to me. <laughs> but the presentation of the clothing was amazing and I really enjoyed it. I also got behind the scenes access to the Koto Momolu show, thanks to Shea Moisture. They were doing such an amazing job and the diversity at this behind the scenes and at the show was amazing. It was so inspiring to see. I have not been successful at doing bantu knots on my own hair, on my texture, but it was so cool to see the different methods that they use on all of these different women of different textures and they all ended up with beautiful curly hair that really complemented their own personal look. Like look at this method right here. I don't know what this is called but it worked and it turned out amazing and she's using like three bobby pins to wrap her hair around it. This was the official lip color for the show. This is one of the Shea Moisture crayons in a hot pink color. And I think this was a great choice because it looks so good on every single skin color that I saw. I also got to hang out with the beautiful Dominicana Bella Gypsy in the city. And we received some great makeup wisdom from the amazing Renny Vasquez. I'm sure you all know who he is. Can you give us some tips for all of us who obviously have some A lot of times I would say go with whatever foundation from your favorite line and if you're covering um, like dark spots underneath the eyes, that same line is going to have a shade that's two or three shades lighter that you can use underneath the eyes or in your troubled areas and what will happen is it will be a blend, a blend that's seamless. A few days before this show, I held a giveaway on my Instagram and chose two special winners to attend the show with me. And these are two of my beautiful Love Base subscribers and winners that came with me to the show. Uh, hi, I'm Miss Lady Chica here on YouTube and also on my blog, www.missladychica.com. Thank you, Ava, for having me. Thank you. Isn't she wonderful? Hi, this is NYC Pearly Girl at the Real Talk Fashion Week Show. Thank you, Ava, for having me. I really appreciate it. Check me out on YouTube and Vita Tally Accessories on Instagram. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming. Oh my gosh, I went to the salon and I got my hair colored. I have not colored my hair in over four years, but I did it by my favorite person. Look at her behind me. See her hair? This is why I chose her. 
I don't have enough footage in this video to talk about it in depth, but I will say that I got exactly what I wanted, I got exactly what I asked for, and I'm very happy with it because I don't like high maintenance hair and I wanted a one-time process. I don't like high maintenance hair, so I don't have to go back and do anything. So she got exactly what I asked for and I'm happy. It's not a big change to some of you, but it's a big change to me. And those of you who did come to my meet and greet, you guys got to see my hair in person. Hello. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much to all of you who came to my New York meet and greet. I am having another one at Ricky's, so read the description box below to know more. So as I'm getting out of the airplane in London, I realized I was on the flight the entire time with my high school friend who I haven't seen in over six or seven years. And thank God she was there because I couldn't get in contact with my Uber driver because I had no service out there. Thanks to her, I finally found my Uber guy and I was safely heading back to my hotel, which was the St. Pancras Renaissance Hotel. And I was on New York time, so I just went to sleep as soon as I could um, because the difference is quite different. The next day I got to enjoy the beauty of this historical, beautiful London hotel and I got to go shopping. I can't yell because my baby's sleeping. But honestly, the best part of my time in London was being able to meet some of you at my meet and greet in Hyde Park. <laughs> For those of you who did come to my meet and greet, you probably don't know this, but this is the first time I've ever spoke about personal topics so intimately with my viewers. And I must say, this was a very special meet and greet for me. And I thank you all so much for coming. I cannot wait to go back to London for longer this time because I literally had to catch a flight right after meeting you all. And I wish I could have stayed for longer, but I had to catch that flight back to New York City, back home. And on the bright side, I will be having another meet and greet on October 11th, but it's gonna be here in New York, in my hometown. I hope to see you all there. If you're in New York, of course. And check out the description box below for details on my meet and greet and everything else mentioned in this video. Bye.